What's up everybody, welcome to Among the Fence. My name is Aaron, and it's time for New Music Friday. Gonna be taking a look at some of the new stuff coming out throughout the week of July 12th, giving my thoughts and opinions on what I think we expect from some of these new releases. And as always, if I miss something that you're looking forward to, leave a comment below letting me know what it is, and also let me know what you want me to review next. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like. It helps out so much with YouTube's algorithm. It goes so far, even though it's such a simple thing. And I appreciate you guys even just taking time out of your day to watch this in general. But moving on now, let's talk about some new music. We get a new album from Speed titled Only One Mode. This band has some really, really cool old school hardcore vibes. But to me, they also just sound really mature mainly like within their songwriting otherwise like their tone and all that stuff is pretty it's pretty dead set on just basic hardcore however the singles for this album are very experimental and i absolutely love it they got some really cool elements thrown in there they got really cool like riff ideas and just different transitions that i absolutely love and i have a feeling that this album is going to be great we also have a new album from in hearts wake titled incarnation I used to really love this band like around mid 2010s. I am sort of ashamed to admit it, uh, but they've become a little too mainstream for me. It's not like they were ever like super original or anything like that before, but it just seems like they're trying really hard to do what everybody else is doing that like makes them famous and get, you know, a lot more listens, such as like Parkway Drive or wage war and i feel like they're just going in that direction and honestly i feel like at this point if you play any three of these bands in random orders it would be really hard to tell who is who at this point so i mean i don't know i, I used to love this band but it's going to be a no for me great american ghost is releasing a new single titled forsaken this band also does kind of tend to be a little generic at times but musically, I feel like they do just about everything right. The vocals in this are what stand out to me the most. They have a unique type of nasty to them. And I feel like the deep cuts on all their albums just hit so much harder than any of their singles, which says something because I don't like singles, but I usually like all the singles that this band releases. If you haven't heard of this band before, uh, there's basically no bad place to start, but their 2017 record, Hatred Stems from the Seed, is just top tier. Something I still listen to regularly, and if you haven't heard it, I, I just urge you to go listen to it right now. Well, not right now. Fin finish this video and then go listen to it. We get a new single from As I Lay Dying titled The Cave We Fear to Enter. With only two longtime members left in this band, I mean, at this point... Uh, it's hard to really get excited about anything, especially since one of my favorite guitar players, Nick, is no longer with them. It's almost starting to feel more like a cover band at this point, especially since, like, I don't know, it, Tim kind of seems like he's falling away vocally in the studio. It sounds good, but if you watch any of his live stuff, it's just it, falling apart left and right. The last single, Burden, felt very weak to me. It was very lifeless. Just run in the mill, let's release something because we need to make some money and show everybody we're still around type of thing. Otherwise, it just has a very octane core sound to it. I really hope this new single changes things though. I hope that this band has been playing long enough now. You know, like this 20 something year old band has been around long enough to where they got some chemistry together, even though, you know, because they got three, three new members, I know that they're kind of used to playing together in general anyways because i know a lot of the members have been kind of here and there but i mean i don't know it, it's just like i said it's hard for me to get, get excited about this because it's just it feels like a band that sounds like as i lay dying that makes me want to go listen to as i lay dying instead of what they're releasing now and so yeah anyways we get a new single from a night in texas titled death protocol i feel like this is one of the few bands that continually releases well, not continually, but lately this year, they've been giving us a lot of really solid deathcore. And it gets me even more excited because it's getting closer for that time for the album to come out. And I haven't done a review on this band yet, so I'm kind of avoiding the singles. Like I said before, I'm not really that into them. So before I get kind of a, a negative idea about them, just because it's not typically my thing, I'm going to try and listen to this album as a whole when it comes out to do my full review so I'm sure the singles will hold up either way, 
But yeah, I'm very much excited for this whole album at this point. We also get a new single from Oceano titled The Price of Pain. Um, I really struggle with this band because it's kind of weird. I just gave another deathcore band a ton of praise. But I don't know. This one, I just, I, I try so hard to get into them. I just can't do it. I've gone through all their albums. I really can't listen to like, I don't know, more than three songs from them at a time. I don't know why but i always try and it's just it's just lacking something it makes instead of instead of listening to them i end up kind of just skipping around to fit for an autopsy or even white chapel because it makes me feel like i want to be listening to them more instead i really hope this new album though is something i like I'm, again i'm kind of avoiding the singles because i do want to do a review on this album and yeah i don't know hopefully i since i'm avoiding it hopefully you guys are enjoying the singles from this band i know a couple other people kind of agree with me that this is a hard band for them to get into so it feels good knowing i'm not alone we also get a new single from i declare war titled shadow dancer it has been eight years since this band released their last album songs for the sick and it's been five years since they released their last ep which was a phenomenal phenomenal release and even though this isn't like a super popular band I feel like, I don't know, I, I'm I'm highly anticipating any of their new stuff coming out. I feel like this is going to be one of the heavier releases of the year, just because this is what I Declare War does. It really is just super, super heavy stuff in terms of music, vocals, and the production. So yeah, I'm excited to hear this, especially since it's just, it's just been a really long time. And that is it for New Music Friday. Like I said before, if there's anything that I missed, leave a comment below letting me know what it is so me and everybody else can discover some new music. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give this video a like. It helps out so much. And if you want to go further than that, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon. Doing any of those things just helps me out tremendously, and I appreciate it more than you guys could ever imagine. And I appreciate you more than you could ever imagine, even just for sitting here taking time out of your day to listen to me sit here and talk about music. And I hope you have a good rest of your day or night. Whenever you happen to be watching this, and I will talk to you guys next time.